Hello, this is Coach T coming to you live from Fit for Life. I hope you had a wonderful day. I am coming to you with a new tip and this is going to be a cool down, okay? So the same thing like a warm up, You're, you want to take about five minutes or so to cool down after doing these exercises with me. And same thing with a warm up, the cool down, you're targeting those muscles that you have worked and you're stretching them in a static hole stretch. So you're not moving through the stretch as much as you are stretching and holding, okay? You may be holding a little bit tighter and tighter and tighter, but you're not moving in a dynamic move, all right? So with the first cool down, let's just do the same we did with the warm ups. We're gonna start with our lower body and I want to stretch the inner thigh. I want to stretch that butt as we're going down and you can feel it right here. So you go down to your level where you can feel it, but I'm feeling it right here and holding it and then coming up. Let's do the other side. So you can do about five of these, but I'm only going to show you different, different angles. Okay, this is the side angle. So we're feeling this. So, so we're not going back, we're going sideways. So you're really feeling the stretch. So I'm not going back, I'm going side, just sideways. And then this, I'm feeling that stretch, okay? Sideways, sideways. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a squat. So we're gonna squat and hold, ready? Remember, those toes are about 45 degrees. Your feet are more than hip width apart and, this, and your knees are gonna track with your toes. Okay, and you go down as far as it, you can feel the stretch. All right. Another stretch for your glutes is just go down and touch your knees, your ankles, or go up your toes, or go all the way down to the ground. You should be able to feel that back here. It's really important to feel those hamstrings stretching. You can feel your glutes stretching. Another one is just bringing your knee up and pulling it up to your chest. I'm not good at balancing. So just pulling it up to your chest. All right. That's enough for the lower body stretch. Cool down. Another cool down for your transverse abdominus. Let me show you. You can actually get on the ground and you can bring your leg across like this. Your arm is going to go around your knee and you're going to bring this hand behind you and look over your shoulders and feel that stretch. See, that should feel. So you should be pushing against your knee to, to give you a better stretch. And hold it. Do the other one. Pull. Another stretch, you can get on the floor, put your, your uh, make a fist, put it under your chin, and just bring your, your knee, pull your knee into your, your glutes, and, I mean your feet into your glutes, and your knee off the ground. You should feel that stretch. Let's do the other one, opposite hand under your chin, pull this up. You should feel it in your, in your quad. Here's another one for your, your abs is coming up like this. Come up as high as you can, okay? If you can only do this, that's fine. But I want to go all the way up. And another one for the butt is coming down in child pose like this. But this is a good, a good, a good stretch, a static stretch for your whole body actually, not just your butt. 
So you can do this for all the exercises that we do. If you want to, to go even further, you can bring it underneath you like this and stretch. So you're really pulling your hand away from your shoulder. And then the other one. For your arms now, you can bring your hand across this way and you can bring your arm over and you're stretching this, these muscles right here. And you wanna hold each, each stretch about 30 seconds. We're not gonna do that here, but I just wanna show you to stretch and hold. Another, another hold for your arms is a tricep. So you bring your hand up like this, back, touch your back. You bring your other hand over and pull your elbow. Keeping your head not down, but up. All right, and do the other one. Up, head up. Pull that elbow. All right. Another stretch for your arms is interlacing your hands together like this, bringing them over like this, and stretching away from your body and arching your back, keeping your arms up, your hands up, and just pushing your hands away from your body. And you can also interlace your hands behind you like this, straighten your arms up, straight, and look up. All right, that'll do it for your stretches. If you want some stretches or, or for your neck, I can show you those too. I'll show you real quick. All right, so you can take your hand like this, put it on your head like this, and just slightly tug it. You know, the shoulder has to be down, so go ahead and put your hands down like this. Put your hand down like this, like you're pushing the floor, okay? And you're, and you're tugging your head this way, so you're stretching your neck there. You should be able to feel it all right and up in here. It should feel really, really good. Okay, another stretch. It's the other side. Shoulder down, hands pushing the ground, tugging your head this way. All right, take your, your chin and you just wanna push your left hand, tugging your chin to the left. And then your right hand tugging your chin to the right. You want to give your head a tug to the bottom like this. So pushing your head down slightly, chin to chest. And that'll do it. Have a great day. I hope you had a good stretch. I know these feel good, so you should do those. And right after an exercise, especially when you're using weights and stuff, you want to replace your glycogen storage cells with some something like um, maybe orange juice or something that has some sort of um, a natural sweet to it. Maybe orange juice is too sweet or too strong, so dilute it half, half water and half orange juice and drink it up right away. And then within an hour of your workout, you want to grab some protein, like a protein shake, and go all the way down within an hour. Those are the optimal times to get your glycogen storage cells filled up again and to maximize your muscles and help them to rebuild, okay? So anything after that, you're, it's still going to help you, but it's not going to be optimal. I hope this helped. See you soon.